Okay guys, it is a Duffing here, back with another video. So I know it's been a very, very long time since I've uploaded it. It's been about six months, I'm so, so sorry. But, um, you know, I'm back and I won't leave you guys again, okay? I promise. So, um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys about events. So events are pretty simple, okay? Um, have you guys ever played an obby, right? Where in the obby, you uh, maybe have a red part or something, okay? And every time you touch the red part, you just die. So basically, guys, how people do that is through events. So you definitely encountered them before because they're very, you know, you have to use them. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to use those. And yeah, so yeah. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and just start this. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and make a part. And then you're going to want to add a script to it. So make a part. It can be any color. It doesn't really matter. And then we can add a script to it. So let's go do this. Scripts right here. And then let's go ahead and make a variable for our part so we can easily access it. So we'll do local parts equals script.parent. And now, guys, script.parent just means you're getting the part because it's, you know, the script is in the part. So the parent of the script is the part. So, yeah, pretty simple. And then you're going to want to go ahead and do part dot touched. Okay, now listen. All right, if you type a T, this autofill thing right here, it, it shows you this little lightning symbol. And now this lightning symbol basically means it's an event. And now as you can see here, the transparency, which we know it's a variable and it changes like if it's see-through or not, that's a variable and you know, that's uh, a little rectangle thing. So that's how you can distinguish events from, uh, you know, from variables. So go ahead and type part.touched. And now basically what part.touched means is every time that a part is touched, then, uh, you know, this will happen. So we, we're not done writing this yet, though. Type a colon, and then type connect, and then type function, and then put that there. Oh, wait, my bad. Okay. So, yeah, that's the syntax for a, you know, like uh, uh, an event. So this is it right here. Now, there's another way to do it, too, which I'll show you guys in a second here. But, yeah, so this is it. So part dot touch connect or colon connect function. So now let me explain. Okay, so dot touched is, you know, the event name. That's the name of the event. And now the dot touched event, what it means is that if a event is touched, will then, or if part is touched, which is this part right here, then the event will fire or run. And now what connect means is it can, means you're connecting the function. So there's no function right now because we're going to write the function, but you're connecting what you want it to do. So whatever you want the, whatever you want to happen whenever the part is touched, you'll type right here. So we're going to go ahead and type print hi, okay? So obviously, guys, it's just going to print hi. You know the drill. You know what that means. So let's go ahead and just test it out real quick. And then we can print. Uh, okay, so it's already printing hi. Now listen, this might be a little confusing. So you see how it just printed hi? Well, it's printing high right now because it's touching the base plate, okay? So that's, you know, th that's why it's printing high right now. So, because even, even though we're not touching it, it's still printing high. And that's because it's touching the base plate. Now, I'm going to walk over it and watch what happens. So let me go ahead and actually zoom this in real quick. So if you see right there, it's going off a bunch. Like right now, it's going off 60 times, 80 times, 90 times. And you guys are probably wondering, well, you're not touching it that much. Why is it going off that many times? And it's because every time it hits a part, it goes off. Now, obviously, you know, I'm a part because I'm a little character. Now, if you go to the workspace and you go to the Explorer, you see I have a lot of parts, okay? As you can see here, guys, I have many, many parts. And basically, it's registering and it's firing every time I touch a part. So every time it touches one of my parts, okay? So as you can see there, it's touching my, my legs and my lower legs and stuff like that. So that's why it's going off so much. Now, yeah, that's kind of just why, man, yeah. So I guess I explain it. Now, guys, basically, to make it so it doesn't touch the base plate or whatever, you have to do, like, an if statement, which I'll show you guys in a second here. But, yeah, that's pretty much events. Now, um, there's another way to write events, which I'll show you right now. And, basically, the, now the, uh, the other way to write them is, uh, let me go ahead and delete all this and then type it back. So, part dot touched, um, connect, and then you put the function in here. So, let me write a function real quick. So, let's do local function... Um, hamburger uh, and then we can do prints high and then let me actually move the sorry let me move this in the air real quick and make sure it's anchored there we go okay so it won't run when we restart the game so yeah basically we wrote a function here called hamburger all it does is print high and you know you should already know how to write functions you watch my last tutorials so you go ahead and copy this over into there and basically what it does is it you know makes a makes a I'm sorry, it runs the, the function, okay? So it's connecting the function to um, the event. So whenever the event fires, this function will run. So let's go ahead and test it out real quick and make sure everything works. Oh, and what is this? P pass value is not a function. Uh, wait a minute, what? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, I think I messed up here. Wait, oh, I think it's because you have the 
parentheses there. Maybe that's it. I'm not really too sure. Okay, so yeah, um, don't put the parentheses there, obviously, and uh, you should be good. So yeah, go ahead and touch it, and as you can see there, you know, it's going off. So now, see, it didn't go off at first because it wasn't touching the base plate, but now it's still going off. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and make sure... Uh, okay, so okay, listen, that was events, right? That's how you do events, and that's how you write them. So basically, let me show you guys something else, too. The object browser right here is, um, okay, this look, might look a little confusing, don't worry. If you go to view, click on object browser, that's how you get this, okay? This is basically like a, it's like a Roblox wiki, okay? And there's a, there's an actual wiki, but this is like the wiki inside of Roblox Studio. And um, basically, the object browser is, what it is, is these are all objects, right? So a part is an object, it's type of object. Pants are an object, object value is an object. Um, a module script is an object, a model is an object, everything like, that you can make in here is an object, right? So if you go to the part object and then you go over here, you can see here that these are all of the properties for it and all of like the members of the object, right? So that's what it is. These are all properties, these are some functions, or th these are some functions, these are some properties, and then these are the events. So the events right here is what we're focusing on. Now, as you can see here, the part has all of these events right here, all lightning ones, okay? Now, these top five, I'd say, so ancestry changed, changed, child added, child removed, descendant added, descendant removed, these are all like, these are in every single object pretty much. Like see, as you can see here, they're in like pretty much every single object, but the ones that are specific to part are touched and touched ended. So as you can see here, if you click on touch ended, you can read this little description of it. Okay, so event is the touch ended, and then, you know, summary fired when the part stops hitting the part. Now guys, it, as you can see here, if you read this right here, okay, it says touched, and then there's inside of it that shows an instant other part. So I'm sorry if it's confusing, okay? I'm trying to make it as simple as possible, but what I mean here, so let me let me show you guys something. So let me go ahead and do this. So um, this right here, and then I connect, um, wait, 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 uh, function, and then hits. Okay, so look at this right here, guys. Okay, so as you can see here, okay, oh, sorry, I left this cord. Um, but as you can see here, it says function, and then hit inside of it. So what does this mean, okay? So basically, this is like a parameter. And I taught you guys about parameters, I think. So this is like a parameter. And what it means is the part that the part hit. So let's say this part hits the base plate. The part that that part hit um, will, you know, be stored under hit. So let me go ahead and run it real quick. So let me um, put this back in the air so it's easier. And then I'm going to print hits, okay? Now, you can make this named whatever you want like hit right here this can be named oh no sorry i need to get rid of the quotes because you want to print the variable but you can use whatever you want this can be named um part touching you can make whatever you want it really doesn't matter but hit is just like what i use and what a lot of people use and what i was taught so yeah so let me go ahead and hit play and then let me show you guys what it means okay so i'm gonna print it's gonna print the part that touched it okay so look just watch so i touched it it prints lower, left lower leg, left lower leg, right foot, right, all this stuff here. You see this, guys? It's printing whatever touches it. So that's kind of simple. I hope you guys understand that. It prints whatever touches it. And basically, to put that in, all you have to do is just add a, you know, a little thing that says hit, right? But back to the object browser. So yeah, these are all the objects and, you know, and members of the objects. So these are all the... Um, you know, the, the events and stuff. And if you ever don't understand it, um, there's a little summary under it on most of them, I'd say, summary. Like, see, touch doesn't have a summary because it's kind of self-explanatory, but touch ended does, so, yeah. All right, guys, well, um, that is pretty much events. All the events you need to know for right now, but let me, let me go ahead and make something, uh, actually show you something else, too. So, guys, um, let me show you this, okay? So if you guys go and let me get rid of this function because it's useless. So if I, um, you know, were to print hit, okay, Let's say we wanted to make that little kill script thing, right? So we're going to make that, all right? So let's say we wanted to make that um, little little kill script where if you touch the part, you die, okay? So let's go ahead and make the script, yeah. So what it's doing, okay, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make sure that when we, uh, or when this part touches something, it we need to make sure it's a person or else it's going to have a big error. So like if I were to do um, hit dot, dist or hit dot, um, hit dot health, dot uh, or hit the health equals 100 or zero okay basically you're setting the health to zero so you just kill the person right now it's not going to work now let me show you why so i can hit it right and now health is not a valid okay so health is not a valid member of mesh part okay because you're not actually you know touching the character you're touching a part of the character okay so let me tell you how to fix that so what you're going to do is first of all you want to make sure that whatever the part says touching it's a character so you're going to type if 
hit dot parent so hit dot parent so let's say i had a part right let me actually spawn in real quick sure what i mean so let me let me uh get this copy this over sorry about don't worry about that area down there but okay look look at this right here okay as you can see here um hit is like one of my parts right so hit is any of these parts right here okay now the parent of hit is my character okay so let's do hit dot parent and now you're on my character right and then you do find first child humanoid okay now i don't know if i show you this, i don't know if i showed you guys this already but this is a um a little like function where you can find the first child now why we use this instead of um just dot humanoid like we could do dot humanoid right but that wouldn't work because you get a lot of errors because what if something else that's not a you know like what if the base plate touched it the base plate doesn't have a, a hit dot parent dot humanoid so it would error. So you have to do find first child. And now what find first child basically does is it just scans all the, all the child or the children. What the scans all the children of the uh, of the of the you know of the object, and it finds the first one named humanoid. So yeah, that's basically what it does. So you're gonna do in, in quotation marks humanoid because you're looking for the humanoid right here, as you can see there. And then you're gonna want to go ahead and do then because it's a if statement. Okay, you're gonna want to do um hit dot parent and now set, we're doing hit dot parent again because we're getting the because now we know that's a character right if this if function runs we know it's a character okay so we're all right now we're on this because this is hit dot parent okay and then we're going to go ahead and do humanoid so dot humanoid and now we don't have to do find first child because we already know it, it, it's uh, a child right so dot humanoid dot health and now health is a property of the humanoid so as you can go here uh, if you can scroll down to the property section, health is right there, as you can see, uh, 100 health. So we're going to set the health to zero. Now, when we set the health to zero, it basically means, um, you know, has more health. So kill it or make it respawn or whatever you want to call it. So now this should work. So let's go ahead and hit play and run it. And there we go. There we go. And now there's my little, there's my little character. <laughs> um, I'm going to touch it. I'm going to die. So ready? Here we go. Bloof. All right. See, I oofed. Okay. So success, guys. It worked. It worked. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much how you make those little kill scripts. And these are our events, the basic events. I might show you guys some more events in the next tutorial. I don't really know. I'll have to see what's next. But uh, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, guys, leave a like. Subscribe if you want more scripting tutorials. And if you're new to the playlist, or just, I have a playlist down there in the description. So if you want to just watch them all in, like, uh, in bulk, then you can. See so, you guys, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm taking a break, but I, you know, I just did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Oh, bye. <laughs>